Hello everyone and welcome to the Camera Pass Tool tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to effectively create and edit camera paths and also the settings to achieve smooth and dynamic camera movements. But before we start, I'd like to mention that I have created two advanced tutorials showcasing how to set up and execute the scenario that we are making a cam path for in this video and another tutorial focusing only on how to detach any parts of a vehicle while moving and lots of special tools that allows you to have more control and creativity in your crashes. So if you're interested, please join our Discord and check out our Patreon, which are linked in the description. Once you're fully loaded into your map, press F11 to open the world editor and open the camera path tool. To start, click new to create a path and if you're playing a recorded replay, the path will automatically attach to it. Otherwise, click use with replay and select your desired replay. But you can also first load your replay, then when you click on new, it will automatically attach to it. Use the slider to move forward or backward in the replay. Or you can use the buttons below it and also the right and left arrow keys. Now let's set our FOV to 40 and start adding markers. Remember to advance the timeline before adding markers. Precise time and spacing helps a lot with smoothing the camera movements. So here I will move forward by one second, then place my next marker. Also, you can have a zoom effect if you lower the FOV for the next marker. Now to stop wasting your time, I'm going to add the rest of the markers and show you the result by pressing the play button. The other play button is for hiding the UI and when you want to record it with your video recorder. As you can see, we have some sudden camera movements that we need to remove. And to smoothen the path, all we have to do is smoothen the blue line. To do so, first select a marker, then select the preview marker, so you can get out of the camera, then view the path from somewhere far away where you can see the blue line clearly. And all we have to do to smoothen the line is slightly change the marker's positions to get the line as smooth as possible. And remember, you don't want the blue line to be as straight as the red one. It's okay if it has a small bend to it. Now if you pay attention here, the sudden up and down movement is fixed, but we have other sudden movements that we need to fix. Again, all we have to do is slightly change the marker's positions to get the blue line as smooth as possible. And as you can see, all of the sudden movements are fixed and now we have a smooth camera movement. Once you are finished, you can save your path and load it up again if you need it. Now you can select each marker and as you can see, each one of them has a different setting. You can select a marker, then click on preview marker to preview it. You can also change the FOV and press the override with the current camera button to save it. Each marker has a different global time. For example, here we got 6 markers. If I increase the number 5's global time past 43, which is for number 6, the paths will go through the marker with the lower global time, and then go through the markers with the higher global time. Time to the next determines how much time it takes for the camera to move between two markers. The position smoothing smoothens out the path of the camera. The sweetest spot for me is 0.5, but you can adjust it however you want. The bullet time is for slow motion shots. So the markers with the lower bullet time will slow the time as the camera reaches them. To create a cut effect, go to the exact global time as your marker on your timeline. So here we got 43.015 on both the global time and the timeline. Then click on preview marker and add another marker. Now on our previous marker, cut to the next marker is automatically checked. Now move the camera to the position you want it to cut to. Then, if you want, you can adjust the FOV and remember to never put your FOV under 12. I did a mistake here and put it on 10. From here, it's all the same as before. We will just move forward in time and add markers. And to stop wasting your time, I'm going to escape to show you the results. If you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching and I really hope this tutorial helped you out.
and please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and drop your ideas for the next tutorial in the comments. The idea with the most likes will be turned into a video once we hit 5000 likes on this video. Thanks again and as always, happy crashing!